thanks, Lord. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, our King, Lord. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. Who come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. For you are worthy of it all. 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 We come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. 
We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. We've come to worship you, my Jesus. We've come to worship you, my King. You're my Savior. You're my Deliverer. And you're my redeemer. Yes, you are. And you're my savior. And you're my redeemer. And you're my deliverer. Yes, you are. And you're my savior. And you're my redeemer. And you're my deliverer. Yes, you are. And you're my savior. And you're my deliverer. And you're my redeemer. Yes, you Come on, this is pressing. Shake it, Yana, Kaura, Vara, Stana, Kaura, Vara. Santo, La, Ralva, La, Rebe, Seke, Rebe, Rende, Rebe, Re. Rimbro, Namana, Kaura, Vara, Stene, Ke, Rebe, Re. Shake it, Rebe, Rende, Rebe, Re. Brunte, Vere, Rebe, Seke, Rebe, Rende, Rebe, Re. Santo, La, Ralva, La, Raba, Sakura, Vara. Run to the Shake your river and the river, river, shake your river. Santo la Ralva la Rava Sakuravara. Breakthrough tonight, O oh Father. O oh Father, we come even, even tonight in the name of your Son Jesus. We thank you that heaven, when we pray, that even tonight, Father. We want to see heaven come here right upon this place, Lord. We're so excited about your glory tonight. We're so excited about your weighty glory, Lord. The reason we're here is we want to worship you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Oh, we cry out to you tonight. Open up the heavens tonight. Open up the throne room of God. Shake it in. Brunte verende revere reve shake it in. Verende revere. Brunte vere shake it in. Verende revere. Rib 
Break out tonight. Break out tonight. Break out tonight. Oh, let the gates, let the gates be open tonight. Oh, we press in even tonight, Lord, to see. Shake it, river, stir it, river, river, shake it, river. Oh, Father, we want to be a worshiping generation, Lord. We want to be that generation with hungers for Your presence, Lord. Which hungers for Your glory. Oh. Come on, church, let's press in tonight. Sing louder and let this place hear out with praise. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. The sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, and all of heaven rose your name. Sing louder, let this place hear out with praise. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, and all of heaven rose your name. Sing. Place here up with praise. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, all of heaven roars your name. Sing louder. Oh, let this place hear up with praise. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, all of heaven rose your name. Sing louder. Let this place hear out with praise. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, who all of heaven rolls your name, sing louder. Place here up with praise. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, all of heaven roars your name. Sing louder. Here we pray. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, the sound of heaven touching earth. Our Father, 
Yeah. 
us, Lord. Awaken us, Lord. With your spirit, Lord. Oh, To have your way, oh, we trust you, Lord, have your way, have your way, feeling in my bones, you're about to move. to ride in You said that you would pour your spirit out You said that you would fall on your sons and daughters I feel it in my bones you're about to move I feel it in the wind you're about to ride in you said that you would pour your spirit out. You said that you would fall on your sons and daughters. Oh, I feel it in my bones, you're about to move. I feel it in the wind, you're about to ride in. that you would pour your spirit out you said that you would fall on your sons and daughters oh, I feel it in my bones you're about to
Spirit blue. We're ready for you to so come and blow on through. Come and do what only you can do to so come and blow on through. Spirit blue. We're ready. To come and flow on through Spirit move. We're ready for you to come and flow on through. We come and do.
flame on fire, a mighty rushing wind, our praise will rend the heaven, come for the fresh again, come like a flame of fire, a mighty rushing wind, our praise will rend the heaven, come for the fresh again. This your house. Make this your house. Make this your house, Lord. So won't you come? Come like you promised. Pour out your spirit. Your spirit, won't you come? Come like you promised. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Oh, won't you come? Come like you promised. Pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit. Pour out 
Santo la Ralbala Rabba Sakura Vara Runti Vere Rebe Sekere Vere Ndere Vere Sekere Vere Ndere Vere Rebe Sekere Vere Ndere Vere Runti Vere Rebe Sekere Vere Ndere Vere Santo la Varastiana Kaura Vara Repro Namana Kaura Vara Stana Kaura Vara Santo la barastere kere bere Shekere rebe se bere ndere bere Shekere bere ndere bere rebe se kere bere ndere bere Santo la barastiana kaura bara Shekere bere ndere bere Ranche verende revere rebe se kere verende revere Santo la varastana kaura vara Ranche vere rebe se kere verende revere She kere verende revere rebe se kere verende revere Santo la varastana kaura vara rebe se kaura vara Runti vere rebe se kere vere ndere vere rebe se kere vere She kere Runti vere rebe se kere vere ndere vere She kere vere ndere vere Santo la ralva la raba sacora vara Ronche kere vere ndere vere rebe se kere vere ndere vere She kere vere ndere vere rebe se kere vere ndere vere Ronche kere vere ndere vere rebe se kere vere ndere vere Shekere vere ndere vere rebe se kere vere ndere vere 
Recevere, reverse, kere, verende, revere. Chevere, reverse, kere, verende, revere. Santo, la varastiana, cora, vara, reverse, kere, verende, revere. Chevere, riprona, vara, cora, vara. Santo la ralvara rabasa kora vara rebesse kere verende revere shekere ribrona mana kora vara santo la ralvara rabasa kora vara vrante vere rebesse kere verende revere shekere verende riana kora vara come on let's just continue the pressing Oh Jesus shake it every year as to na mana rofrosto na mana kora vara santo la ralvala rabasa kora vara shebere rebesse kere verenderi ana kora ribro na mana stana kora vara santo la ralvala rabasa kora vara shake it every verse kere verenderi vere Shekeri anastana mana kaurasto na mana Rufre verende revere rebesse kere verende revere She verendiana ribro na mana kauravara Santo la ralvala rabasa kauravara Refese kere verende revere Ribro na mana stana kauravara Santo la ralvala rabasa kauravara Rufreste kere verende revere She kere verende revende revere rebesse kere verende re Ribro na mana kora vara Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Rufreste re vene kere vere rebesse kere vere She kere verende revere rebesse kere verende revere rebesse kere verende revere Ribro na mana sto na mana kora vara Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Rofreste ne kere verende revere She kere verende revere rebesse kere verende revere Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Ronte verende revere rebesse kere verende revere She kere rebesse verende revere rebesse kere verende revere Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Ronte verende revere revere rebesse kere verende revere Shekere verende revere Ronte vere rebesse kere verende revere rebesse kere verende revere rebesse kere vere Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Rofreste ne kere vere rebesse kere verende revere Shekere verende revere Shekere ribro na vara kora vara Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Bronte vere stene kere vere rebesse kere verende revere Shekere verende revere rebesse kere verende re Shekere verende revere Shekere verende revere Bronte vere rebesse kere verende revere Shekere verende revende revere Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Santo la ral vela rebesse kere verende revere Shekere verende riana kora mana Santo la ral vela rabasa kora vara Bronte verende revere rebesse kere verende revere Shekere verende riana kora mana 
Santo la ralvala raba sakura vara. Shake it ever and there ever, Rebbe, shake it ever and there ever. Santo la ralvala raba sakura vara. Vrunte vere, Rebbe, shake it ever and there ever. Shake it ever and there ever. The Word of God declares in Isaiah 64 1. It says, Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence. We're just going to pray because every mountain in our life is going to shake at the presence of our Lord Jesus. Listen, when the heaven comes down, every mountain will shake. We're going to declare it. That's why we're praising and worshipping. and Because we believe that the heaven comes right here on earth. We are praying for open heavens over here. Hallelujah. Jesus said. Jesus said that. If you have faith as little as a mustard seed. And then you tell the mountains to move, it will move. Even as we are here, every impossible situation in our life, every mountain in our life, every mountain in the congregation, we are speaking it and declaring it a move. Every mountain which is stopping the church from moving forward, we are going to declare it a move. That 2019 becomes an open heaven. A year of open heaven. 2019 we will see the church move forward. More souls will be saved. And the darkness even will lift out of this place. We pray for healings and, and breakthroughs. And Breakthroughs in jobs, breakthroughs in finances for people. We pray even in the next, next one week, we are declaring that every mountain, every mountain, every mountain in people's lives will move. Even people watching, we want to agree together tonight. We're going to agree together. We've gathered over here because there's power when we gather. The Bible says every mountain will shake. I don't know what mountain is stopping us. We believe even tonight there's going to be a shaking in this place. And that's why we believe when heaven comes down. The, no one can be the same again. No church can be the same again. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Shake it, Rebbe, shake it, Rebbe, and there, Rebbe, Rebbe. Santo la Ralva la Rabba Sakura Bara. Vrunte Vere, Rebbe, shake it, Rebbe, and there, Rebbe, Rebbe. Shake it, Rebbe, shake it, Rebbe, and there, Rebbe, Rebbe. Vrunte Vere, Rebbe, shake it, Rebbe, and there, Rebbe, Rebbe. Santo lo ribrona mana kauravara. Santo lo, we cry out tonight, Lord. Shake your ever and there ever. Shake your ever and there ever. Brunt ever, Rebbe, shake your ever and there ever. Santo la ralva la raba sak. Shake your ever and there ever.
Father, Father, even tonight we declare, Lord, that, that even tonight we declare there will be a breakout, oh Lord, of your spirit in this place. Pour out your spirit. We're so hungry for you, Lord, to come and move tonight. Let heaven come here right here on earth tonight. We declare your freedom tonight. We declare your liberty tonight. We declare answered prayers tonight. We declare breakthroughs tonight. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that we thank you that you are here in this place. And let your kingdom come right here on earth as it is in heaven. Let's 
just give a clap offering to Jesus. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. I, I want you to come back, but you can sit for some time. You know, I don't want you to tie yourself. Amen. We're going to, we you know what we're doing? Uh, thanks a lot. How awesome is the worship? Come on, let's give it to the worship team. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. <laughs> I, I need these lights riddled on. I can't see anybody. I want to see people tonight. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. That's good. That's at least, yeah. Please, yeah. I just need to see people a little. Hallelujah. So how, how has it been the last two weeks? I think it's almost, we're going to get to the end of the second week. How, is the, how has prayer been and how has worship been? And Come on. How many, of you, how many of you have seen some breakthroughs already? Come on, see the hands. Oh, amazing. I want, I want you to write down, you know what? I believe in the, in the next 10 days, we're going to see even greater breakthroughs. You know, we want you to write it down, what you're praying for, because we're going to see breakthroughs. It's not just answered prayers, but there's also going to be breakthroughs in the spirit realm. We're going to declare it, you know. Tonight, I'm going to speak about that. And, and I feel, you know what? Sometimes, you know, we need to declare things. We need to declare because there's power in declaration. You know, there's power when we declare. You know, I, I mean, tell, tell there's power in declaration. You know, because I'll tell you something. That's why the word is powerful. What the word says will be so it. You know, so it's good to know the word and, and start confessing the word. Because you know why? A lot of times we can be in so many problems and we are listening to so many people throughout the day. And we're having so many worries and we're just going to wonder how things are just going to work out. And we can easily get caught up in what other people have said or what the situation has, you know, what the situation looks like. And we can forget what Jesus has told in his word. That's why it's even good to take time to just gather together to seek him so that we can hear what he has to tell us. Come on. Amen. Listen, nothing has changed. The word is still the same. But sometimes how we can see in the, in the revelation of that word, can change everything for us. Come on. You know, and, you know, I, w- I was in the flight to, I mean, I, I, I was, when I was, in, I, I mean, I just came back, Preeti and I came back yesterday, I know she was here. So, um, we had an amazing time, and, and, and went on the flight, so I took a old book, which I've read it, you know, uh, I think years back, and I started reading it again. And it is so good to read that book again. And it's a simple book by Kenneth Hagin. I don't know some of you know. It's about the power in the name of Jesus. And I love that book. And sometimes, you know what? I read it. It was like a fresh revelation of that. Came back, you know? Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not really going to teach on everything of that. But, you know, even I was, even I was saying, sometimes, you know, I for, sometimes you forget about that power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I want to really take some time at some stage, I don't know when, at some time, just to teach on that. Because, you know, as I was reading the book, every word was like, I was getting drunk in the spirit, literally. It's good. I mean, reading the word, you know, it's powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So what I'm going to speak today is, is about answered prayers. I'm just going to speak about just two scriptures about answered prayers. I believe like, you know what, when we gather in, in a season like this, we have 100% answered prayers. Come on. Listen, what you need to sometimes write down what, God, what, what you're seeking God for. You know, sometimes, you know what? Devil doesn't want you to see the prayers answered in your life. You know, and, and we just agree with the devil and we just say, oh, you know, it's, it's normal. And I don't know about you, but sometimes it's, it's easily. But, you know, when you seek the Lord, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, every greed will be answered. What I'm trying to say is there are things which the devil is stopping from people keep from getting because sometimes we don't believe. Amen. Come on. So there are seasons where we need to take time to declare. Because, listen, there's a spiritual realm which really breaks out where prayers are answered. Amen. Listen, there is a spirit realm 
So many times, you know, which e easily we can easily get into the natural realm. And because we are caught up in that. So that's why the spirit realm is so important. Come on, say the spirit realm. The spirit realm. Amen. Amen. Say answered prayers tonight. So John 16, 23 and 24. And, and one of, this is one of the key scriptures for prayers to be answered. And this is Jesus speaking over here. Before, these, these are some of the last words he says before going to heaven. He says, guys, you know what? I'm going to go to heaven. He's, te he's, telling, he's telling his disciples, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave and go. And it, verse 23 says, and in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Amen. This is Jesus speaking about him going to heaven. That he's leaving and going. And he's saying, from when I go, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give. Come on. How many, of you, how many of you believe the words of Jesus? You know, sometimes, you know, we, listen, I, mean, I, I, I don't think, come on, t tell, see, listen, how many of you love Jesus here? Come on. Listen, does Jesus tell lies? He tells the truth. There's power in the word when he says. So when he says, whatever you ask in my name, he will give, then he, that means he will give. You know, sometimes, you know why we don't get it? Because we don't ask. Whatever, ask in the name of Jesus. That's why we need to write down sometimes and ask. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. It says, ask and it will be given to you. Amen. Seek and you will find. Knock and the doors will be open. Amen. Sometimes you need to knock. Yeah. Sometimes you need to seek him. And you need to always ask. Amen. You know, sometimes you know why we don't ask? Because we feel that it, we're full of pride. I'm telling you, you need to be like little children. You know what children do? They keep asking. <laughs> hey Amen. They have, they have no pride. They, they just don't have a problem in asking. We need to be like children. We need to, we need to just humble ourselves and keep asking. Yeah. You know, that's why, you, like, listen, and, and the Father in heaven is looking, well, you know what? My child is asking you. I'm going to give it because I, I love that. I love, I love the humility. I love, I love the passion. And Jesus is saying that I'm going to go to heaven and whatever you are, say whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever doesn't mean 50 person. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes people are thinking naturally, you know what? Oh, one plus one is equal to two. I'll tell you one thing. Long time back, I realized one plus one in prayer is not two. You know? <laughs> That's the natural way of thinking. This is supernatural. Amen. Amen. You know, one man of God said, told me a long time back, you know what? Pray as if everything depends on God. Work as if everything depends on you. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, pray as if everything depends on God. And work... As if everything depends on you. It doesn't depend on you because it depends on God. But you know what a lot of times, you know what the problem is for the church a lot of times is? They work as if everything depends on God and they pray as if everything depends on them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. <laughs> That's why we, we, we cannot always believe even what Jesus said. And we are trying with our natural ability. And we are striving with our natural ability in prayer. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it's so important for us to believe what Jesus said. This is, I'm talking about individual prayer. You know, I'll tell you one thing. There's something even more powerful when the body of Christ comes together. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, you know, I'll tell you one thing. That is power when the body of Christ comes together. Say amen for that. 
You know, I've realized, you know, when as a congregation, when as a church, we gather together like this and we fast and pray, you know, there are some things which break in the heavenlies. That's why we always see prayers answered because there's power. Amen. Amen. It's good to see God alone. But it's also even more powerful when we come together and seek Him as a community. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm not just speaking about individual prayer. You can ask the Father in the name of Jesus. And that's powerful. That's your right. But there's even more power when we come together as a community. Because the church is filled with the resurrection power of Jesus. The power which raised Jesus from the dead is the same power which is available in the church. And that's, that's not little power. That's not little authority. It's a power and authority which raised Jesus from the dead. Amen. And a lot of times church does not understand the power and authority of God. And that's why we need to keep declaring and understanding as a community that we have the same power which rose Jesus from the dead. And there's a purpose why he's called us over here. It's to see heaven come here right on earth. We want to see this area, community, and all these places around us transformed. And that's when you get transformed, the places around you will get transformed. You know, we belong to, so many of you know that we belong to the Apostolic Network called HIM. And there are two things which are so important, which I love that. Because you know why? We stand for revival and we stand for reformation, which means transformation. Both go hand in hand. And sometimes, you know, it's look good to look. We go to Pasadena now, like at least twice a year. But when you hear the story of Pasadena, 15 years back, that was one of the, the, the most downtrodden areas in, in Los Angeles. Today, after revival broke out and, and the things, is, it's one of the richest areas in Los Angeles. That place has transformed. Listen, wherever we believe, listen, I'm not saying that it, I mean, if you look at your supernatural stories, listen, there will always be transformation. We want to see Ilford transformed. We want to see Redbridge transformed. You know, we want to see businesses flourishing over here. We want to see hotels rise up over here. We want to see employment. We want to see jobs. Listen, we want to see like, you know, I remember years back when we used to go through Romford Road, you know, that place is quite downtrodden. You know, you're, you're, you're talking about when we used to go to Oach. And I used to look at the streets and say, you know what? Oh, we want to see it transform. Because you see everywhere, those buildings are either for sale or to let. Or, you know, so I, I believe, you know, even when we pray for this whole area, even the area we are around, you know, I know a church building is transformed. It's good. But we're going to see everything around us transformed. Because that's what happens when heaven comes here on earth. We don't even realize what's happening. It's not the natural, it's the supernatural. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No one can remain the same one can, once they get touched with the glory. Amen. No place can remain the same when, when the glory of God comes. Yes. That's why we love the glory. That's why we love transformation. And see, listen, I'm here, I'm speaking tonight about both individual prayer and corporate prayer together. That's power. When we come together and if we pray, but when we come as a community, there is really angels of God that are released right here on earth. Amen. Hallelujah. And I love this. You know, the Bible says, until now you have asked me nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. He wants to fill us with his joy. He wants to give us answered prayers and fill us with joy. And so many times you'll start seeing that when you start getting breakthroughs in the spirit, you will start seeing a joy being released even right here within you. It's good to pray till you receive it in the spirit. It's still good to break out till you know. You know, it's, still, it's good to even press in in the spirit. You don't want to give it up because the devil wants to stop you. The, the evil forces want to stop you, but Jesus wants you to break through. And you know, when you know you've received it in prayer, 
you'll be full of joy. Hallelujah. How many of you have experienced that? Come on. Now, this is a simple word. I'm not, I'm not saying complicated. But listen, it's important. Sometimes you know you need to press in more in prayer. Especially when you're praying for some things. You know that you've not got your breakthrough. And it can happen. Sometimes, you know, you've been praying for one year or two years. And you know you don't, you've not got your breakthrough. And you continue pressing in. But you still yearn rest. And you know that it's God's plan for you to give it that. You know, I'm not talking about every greed. And you say, you know, tomorrow someone's going to ask for, you know, I don't know what, Maybach or a Lamborghini or something. Else. Oh, and I've not got it in the spirit. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, I, I'm, I'm serious about it. Because you know what? There are things which are being stopped by the enemy. Because I believe that God wants to give us a breakthrough because he wants to advance a kingdom. He wants to bless you because he wants you, you to be a blessing unto nations. He wants a church blessed because he wants a church to be a blessed blessing to the nations. He wants us to be radical givers. He wants us to be radical, you know, kingdom shakers. He wants, to, he wants us to, but listen, unless we are free, we cannot do that. You know, you know what the devil does always wants to hold you back. That's what I've realized and hold you in debt, hold you in bondage, hold you, you know, you know, in things which where you saw your focus changes. But, you know, even in this year 2019, we are going to break through in prayer. We're going to see breakthrough in finances. We are going to see breakthrough in relationships. We're going to see breakthroughs in jobs. We're going to see breakthroughs in businesses. We're going to see creative ideas coming. We're going to see churches planted. We're going to see lives changed and transformed. We're going to see breakthroughs. And I'm serious about this. I do believe so strongly that we are not going to give it up until we see it happen. Amen. 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 It's easier to give it up. I, but I believe that God wants us to move forward. He wants 2019. He wants, you know how we move forward? When the people around us start getting transformed. Their lives transformed. You know, when breakthroughs start happening in people's lives. That's when the kingdom God advances. Hallelujah. Even people watching tonight. We want to contend even for the next 10 days. We want to see breakthroughs. You know, we want to see transformation in people's lives. Hallelujah. That's power. Ephesians 2 says that the church is built on the foundation of apostles and prophets. And you know what? That's power in that. When the prophetic is declared and when the apostolic is decreed, there's power. Amen. And I was reading last night, you know, I had a, a jet lag and obviously, you know, coming from LA, that's one of the biggest problems. I, I got up early morning and, you know, and I was just like, couldn't sleep. So I thought I might as well pray. And I got this book uh, by Papa Che's new book called Modern Day Apostles. And I started reading it. I started crying. I started getting wrecked. One of the most powerful books I've read for, you know, I, I think for a couple of years now, at least a few years. You know, I started reading that. And, and some of the stories just really shook me, you know. And morning, I, I mean, I sent an email. And it's a, such a powerful book. So, you know, I, I just tell you a couple of stories in that, which really we want to believe as a community. You know, you know, there's power when the prophetic and apostolic come together. You know, as a church, we believe, we believe that the church is built on the foundation. That's what the Bible says, on the foundation of apostles and prophets. You know, so many times, so we need to understand. That's why we've always, I think for the last three years, we've been investing in the prophetic. And, and, and we believe, you know, we are also going to see the apostolic come to. You know, see, there are seasons where you keep growing. We don't want to give it up because we know that it's important in the church. And we are connected with apostles, we are connected with prophets, and, and it's amazing. I'm not talking about just a gift of prophecy, I'm talking about the office of a prophet. So we believe that. So even as a community, even in this season of 2019, I believe we are going to see even greater things in both the prophetic and the apostolic come together because we are going to see decrees even right over here where we are placed, and we are going to see authority in being prayers being answered. Hallelujah. So... I'll just tell you a couple of stories and, uh, of prophetic and apostolic working together. Uh, this is the year of 2002 and uh, uh, they were doing this, the call in Seoul, Seoul, Korea. And uh, see, obviously, Papa Che was an apostle and Louis Engel was a prophet. So there was 
a heavy rain and, and big churches were involved. Big churches in the sense, you're talking about churches uh, like Yong Yi Cho's church and, and massive churches in Korea. People are people of prayer and they would come down. So the stadium had a capacity of 80,000. And, uh, uh, but there was rain which just hit that place. And uh, so Papa Che told Luingal, you know what, why don't we cancel the meeting because people are not going to be able to come. Luingal said, no, you know, I want to go for it. You know, he said, uh, we're going to go for it. And, and because Lord has told, we have not called for an open meeting. We've called to fast and pray over here. And that's where God has called us. And um, so I, he said, okay, all right, that's fine. And so they went into the, into the stadium. And uh, 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 I mean, in Seoul, 60,000 people came in spite of the rain, which is a big thing, you know. There were more people who would have come, because, but then 60,000 still came in spite of it raining cats and dogs, you know. So, and then what happened was that the meeting started and somewhere along the line, heavy rain came. And as the rain came, they had to, everybody ran away because they couldn't, there's no way they could stay because they had to go in and get shelter. And, and uh, so um, it, it was so heavy. And so they went out and so Lou Engel told Papa Che, you know what, I want you to pray and the rain will stop. So Papa just said, why don't you pray? Because God's spoken to you. <laughs> you, know, you know, and there was raining, you know, because he says, no, you're the apostle, I'm the prophet. God's telling me for you to pray. And he have heard that you need to pray. He said, are you sure? He said, yeah. So he said, then he called all the people everywhere in the whole stadium. And, and he decreed and he prayed and agreed together and he prayed. He said, within five minutes, the rain stopped just around the stadium. It rained everywhere else. And he said, it was unbelievable. The rain was there in other places in the city. But in, this, in the stadium, they did the call. Now that shook me. That's apostolic and prophetic working together. You know? And they did the whole seal call. Where 60,000 people prayed and worshipped. He said another story when... You know, there was fires in Colorado. I think it was, I don't know which year it was. 2013 it was, yeah. There was huge fires and houses were getting burned down in Colorado. So, uh, Peter Wagner, who's an apostle to most of these present day apostles. And he was like, he was an amazing man of God. Some of you know, right? So, Peter Wagner and most of the people... In the, who have apostolic movements now, like people like Chuck Pierce, Papa Che, Ed Silver, so, you know, all of them were under the apostolic main, Cindy Jacobs, all of them were under the apostolic team of Peter Wagner, and he used to live in Colorado at that time in Denver, and, and because of the fire, everyone had to evacuate because it was huge, and um, houses were getting destroyed, houses were getting, and there was no rain, and there was no chance of rain coming, because, you know, and it was continuing, and and there was huge losses. And uh, so Cindy Jacobs calls uh, Papa Che and uh, tells him that uh, about this and he need to pray. And, and uh, so Papa Che asks, how is uh, Peter Wagner? And says, Peter Wagner, he's obviously distressed and he's moved out. So he's, uh, so Cindy says, God's told that Peter and you need to stand and pray together as an apostle, I'm decreeing that as a prophet, I'm saying that as you pray, that, that rain is going to come and the fire is going to stop. So there's no chance. There was no cloud. There was nothing, you know, in that time. And he said, if God has spoken to you, then I'll, we will do that together, you know, in phone. Because, and he says, I, I said, I was not even in Los Angeles. I was in Seattle. I was in Seattle doing the meeting. And, and because Cindy called him up and Cindy Cindy's a major governmental prophet. I mean, she says, she said, he said, if you heard that, if we pray that it'll happen, then we will do because, you know, because you're saying we're doing. So, anyway, he got on the thing and he, and Peter Wagner, he was in Seattle, Peter Wagner was there and they agreed in prayer and within five minutes, clouds started fo forming and rain started falling over there. And this is documented 2013. You know, listen, what I'm trying to say is the power in the prophetic and apostolic working together. The prophets need to hear. You know, I mean, if it's not just someone just declaring. 
So listen, prophets, I believe God wants to raise up prophets here. God wants to raise up apostles because if we want to take London for Jesus. We want to take UK for Jesus. We want to see signs and wonders and miracles because, you know, people are going to be astonished what, what, what the Lord's going to do over here. We want to see Ilford transform. We want to see Redbridge transform. Listen, if we are here because we had a word from God that as we come in over here into this place, as we worship and, and, and glorify God, revival will break out and we will be the generation, the next generation which will redig the wells of revival. And we stand on the word and when we started and we just continued. When we started, we had a few people and we were doing the same things. We don't want to go back. We want to see kingdom expanded. We want to see more souls saved. We want to see revival touch more, more, more people's lives. Listen, you think about it. Even if we have 40 people over here, if we get touched genuinely by the fire of God and even people watching, even and we say that we, will, we are going to be used by God, we are going to see transformation just in 2019. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because listen, you have, you are, you, we are all like dynamites. Yeah. Don't un, we, we have the name of Jesus. We have the blood of Jesus. And more than anything, we have the Holy Spirit. And sometimes we don't realize how powerful we are. This is just individually. You know, I'm listen, I believe in all the all the offices, whether it's an evangelist, whether it's a prophet, teacher, pastor, you know, all that. You know, I, I see it's not one person's to do, it's not even one office. Listen, but we need to step in and take authority and do what God's called us to do. When we are doing that, it can be one soul a week, it can be one soul a month. Listen, we need to be intentional in building God's kingdom. We need to be intentional in asking Jesus. Listen, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just need to pray. Wherever you are, you just need to pray for somebody and they're going to be healed. They're going to give their life to Jesus. They're going to get delivered. He's given us authority. He's given us power. Even to proclaim, our words have power. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, the name of Jesus is a powerful name. It's not just an ordinary name. The Bible says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. Jesus did not come to form a religion. He came here to build heaven right here on earth. I'll tell you that. <laughs> if you don't know, you know, sometimes you just need to keep declaring what the Bible says. This is what the word says. Sometimes we forget it. Listen, people are fed up with religion. People are fed up with activity. We don't need more activity. We don't need more religion. We grew up in religion. And it's easy to get back into religion. You know, come to church. You know, you can even say about some, as of it, some, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like it, it can easily become, you know, you know, I don't know, a community where it, it becomes like a clan or a cult, or whatever it is. Jesus came so that to bring heaven right here on earth, to set people free from bondage, from strongholds, from religion. That's why he came here on earth. You know, it, it's, it's, it's not to form a religion called Christianity. Forget it. You know, that's man-made. And that's why church doesn't have power. I grew up in church. I don't want to go out to that church. Forget it. It didn't have any power. I didn't even know Jesus. And people are so proud. And we don't want, and easily, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying one of the dangers is easily, to, it's easy to get back into that. Forgetting about the name, the power of the name of Jesus. It's easy. Oh, you know, where, where do you go? I go to Capstone or, you know, whatever church. If we forget about the power in the name of Jesus. If we forget about people getting delivered and saved and set free and encountering God. We forget everything. Amen. People want to encounter. People want to meet Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe God wants to release that authority in a fresh way even in 2019. 
I know we pressed in for many years now. You know, we believed in the fivefold ministry. We believed in the office of the prophets and apostles. We believed in answered prayer. But I'm saying, I'm telling us, even as a community, you know, we need to take authority even in 2019 and, and take, we, we, whether it's our friends, whether it's our family, whether it's people in the work, we want to be bold in speaking about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We have a mandate from heaven. We can't run away from that. You know, sometimes we can try to run away. He's going to bring us back. Because there's a mandate. And we cannot escape it. You can try to be just be normal and you'll get bored of being normal. <laughs> Amen. Listen, I love revival. You know, if, if revival is not there, you know what revival is? I know I can see the spirit of revival. I, can, I, I know it when it's there. And if that lifts, I get bored. The church will get bored. Listen, we want to see growth, but at the same time, we want to see revival. We want to see people having encounters. We want to see people getting baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. You know, I mean, it was some amazing things. You know, we can, and we will see it. Listen, when you touch people, when you speak to people, people are going to encounter God. It's not for some special people. The name of Jesus has power. And this will work in all the countries of the world. He never said it will work in some country. It will work. And you have authority. You have power. It's not for special people. Amen. That's why Jesus went to heaven. So that you and I can be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can do what he did. Hallelujah. You can be a witness of his power. You can be a witness of his authority. Even when we are seeking God, you know what? Listen, this is not for a few special people. I believe God wants to build a community of people who are passionate for the Lord, who are carriers of His glory. And we want to go around. We want to see, even, 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 even as we rest and speak, that the people are going to say there's something special. Hallelujah. Amen. Mark 16, 17 says, most of you know this scripture. Go and preach the gospel. Heal the sick. Cast out the demons. Speak with new tongues. It's a commandment. And when you pray in the name of Jesus, it says people will be healed. It doesn't even say to some special people. It says whoever believes and baptized will be saved. Amen. Which means that if you lay hands on the sick, they will recover. You will cast out demons. A lot of times when the demonic authority in people's lives lift, people will be set free. And so many times in the Bible, sometimes we don't even realize, a lot of times, or I don't, know, I don't want to tell the percentage, you know, it's the demonic holding the people back from being healed. And so many people across, if you see outside in the world, are in bondage. And when you release authority, when you release, people are going to say, there's something different in you. There's light and darkness is going to flee and people are going to see a fresh freedom. I'm not saying that every sickness is that, but a lot of sickness is that. They're in bondage because of sin. They're in bondage because of the yoke of the devil. And that's why, you know, the devil wants to hold the church back. If the church does not have power, the kingdoms of not, darkness are not being destroyed. The church, the devil does not have a pro problem if you just do a good service and go. What people think is a good service, a good worship and a good word and, and, and you pray and go. Nothing's going to be affected. And that's not the gospel. The gospel is very clear. And that's why God wants to give you a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. God wants to give us a miracle. Because see, sometimes we need to see miracles for us even to preach about miracles. If you don't see miracles, how can you preach about miracles? 
Amen. Listen, we can go in and, and lay hands on the sick. We can go and cast out demons. And second thing which I want to speak about is Mark 11, 23 and 24. I'm just speaking these two scriptures today because I do feel that there we want to see answered prayers. We want to believe God for answered prayers and we're going to pray right now. And we're going to pray in agreement for answered prayers even tonight. Mark 11, 23 and 24. It's very simple. It says, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the, the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Hallelujah. Okay, man, come on. Isn't that powerful? You know, I, I love these two scriptures. And, you know, we've been preaching and other things. But sometimes we forget about this. You know, it's one thing to know in your mind. Another thing to know in your spirit and have a revelation of that. That's why it's good to sometimes even meditate on these, on these scriptures. And meditation in, 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 in Christian life is not, is not like you do Eastern meditation, just sit. It's, 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 it's confessing the word. It's even speaking the word and believing the word. And as we start doing that, we start meditating and that word becomes powerful. That becomes in our spirit. Let's just, let, let's declare this word today. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Say that he will have whatever he says. And next scripture, we want to confess together now. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Come on. Isn't it again saying whatever? Whatever. Whatever things we ask in prayer. Whatever things we believe. Listen, Jesus is amazing. Come on. And sometimes people say, you know what, oh, well, you need to think about it, but you need to be practical. But listen, let's not be practical. Let's just believe. That's what radical faith is. Come on, that's the joy of the Lord. See, she's getting answered prayers now. I mean, she's got a revelation of that. I can see that. Listen, it happens. That That's amazing. You know, I mean... You know, he, sometimes we, st I mean, I, see, I'm not talking about you alone. I have the problem. I have a serious problem. I start thinking naturally. And that's why it was good. Like, you know, sometimes you keep meditating and confessing the word. And so that, you know, you're not, you're not, you know, even listening to people who are speaking negative or you're speaking, not speaking natural things. You're just believing what the word says because the word says is so. And we know that we're going to get received joy when we have the prayers answered. You say, if you ask in the name of Jesus, it'll be done. You know, whatever the devil has said, whatever somebody else has said, whatever the situation has said, we have a prophetic word that people are going to be healed. People are going to be set free. People are going to be delivered. People, and the church is going to prosper. We are going to believe. Believe that. The natural circumstances may not seem that it will happen. But Jesus has said it will happen. And the name of Jesus has power. We believe the name of Jesus. We believe in the authority in the name of Jesus. And we declare that authority. And we want to declare that. And that's why we want to keep declaring what the word says. So what we're going to do now is. We're going to stand up. We're going to agree. Can we have the worship team back? How many of you, how many of you are going to agree on something? Amen. You, know, you know, Matthew, this is one more scripture. Matthew 18. I know most of you know it. But we need to understand that we need to know it in the spirit, not know it in our head. Knowing it in the head doesn't help. You know, sometimes people say, well, well, I know this. I've always played it, but do you know it in your spirit? Do you really believe? The question you want is, do you really believe what the word says? Yeah. So 
So what? We won't even gather someone close to us because we won't agree with them. Because there's power when two or three agree. Even the worship team. You know, Matthew 18 and 19, it says, Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth, are we two? Can we have two people agreeing? You know, we don't need to even declare what it is. Whatever you know what it is. If two of you agree on earth, even people watching, if you want to agree, listen, this is, there's power in agreement. That's where we, I, I told you, there's power even as a community when we come together and we agree. There's, a, there's power when we agree things. It says, again I say to you, if two of you agree, say if two of us agree, on earth concerning anything, it's not some things, guys. Anything. Say anything. So anything what you agree right now is going to be done in the name of Jesus. I mean, listen, it's scripture. It's a word. That means, you know, Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. It'll be joy, it'll be food. And here he says, whatever you agree on anything, it'll be done. Hallelujah. If you ask for stadiums, it's going to be done. And sometimes, you know, we need to be like children just asking. Amen. Come on. Paul, come on. That's it. Come on. Amen. 2,000 seat at church. We are agreeing for that. South Hall. Come on. Amen. And he, in his, in, here we'll have 3,000 seat up. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. We agree right here. We want, because we want to see kingdom come over here on earth. If two of us agree right now, we're going to agree right now. Whatever you want to agree right now, let's agree. Whatever we want to agree. They ask it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Think about it. Father in heaven is looking at what we are asking and what we are agreeing. <laughs> heaven is looking at what Capstone is asking tonight. What we are agreeing tonight. For, whatever, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. See, you know what Jesus is doing? He's hanging around over here. That's what the Bible is saying. He's, he's just over here. He's in the midst of us. He's walking around over here. He's answering prayers over here. The devil is being brought down over here. The kingdoms of darkness are being brought down over here. And heaven is coming right here on earth. Prayers are being answered right now. We declare 2019, Lord, a year of breakthroughs, a year of multiplication, Lord, a year of property transformation, a year of healings, Lord, a year of fresh businesses coming together for the kingdom. A year where prophets and apostles will rise up and work together. And where evangelists will win souls, where pastors will pastor people, where teachers will teach the word, Lord. And fivefold ministry will come. Where worship will rise up as an aroma, Lord. Where incense will burn over here. Whoa! Come on. Power is being released even tonight. Breakthroughs are happening tonight. Jesus. Souls, Lord. Souls. Let's continue to ask. It's a beautiful name. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has power. You know, you know, there are some people asking for Jesus' sake. He doesn't need it for his sake. You know, it's the name of Jesus which has power. We want to ask in the name of Jesus for what we want.
we want to believe what the bible says not what we think is right not what the situation says we are going to believe what the word of god says Yours is the name 
What a powerful name it is. Powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. Powerful name it is. Nothing can stand against. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. Isn't it amazing? That we have access as children to the most powerful name right here on earth as well as in heaven. The name of Jesus. Well, Father, just hold someone hands, someone's hand next to you. We're going to pray together even as we close tonight. Yeah, that's it. We thank you, Father, for tonight what you've done. And we decree right here tonight, over here, in your house. You said in your word, Lord, Lord that my house is a house of prayer for all nations. Oh, Father, even as we've gathered over here, as a house of prayer for all nations. We ask and we decree right now tonight. That you will come. You will come and move in power. You will come and move mountains. You will come and shake those mountains and burn it down. Let there be a fresh access into heavenly realms, Lord. Lord, we pray for revival. We pray for glory. We pray for power. We pray for breakthroughs. Thank you for what you've done over here even tonight. In Jesus' name, let's give Jesus a short offering. Jesus! Whoa! Amen. God bless you guys. See you tomorrow. And people watching, have a good night.